This is Miss Doris. How are you doing? Uh, we're going to do some activities, but we're going to start with language for learning. Because we need to practice how to speak and how to use the verbs and also to learn vocabulary. So we're going to do language for learning, plus we're going to do uh, the snap words. And I was, I'm going to make some suggestions of activities for you to do at home. And you can send them at the email for us. Okay? So here we go. We're going to be working today uh, lesson 74. Uh, actions. Actions are what? Verbs, right? Things that people and things do. Okay, now, everybody wave. Everybody wave. Okay, what are you doing? Waving. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. What are you doing? Clapping. Okay. What were you doing? What were you doing? I was... No. Stop you. I Stop you. was waving. I was waving. Now, let's say the old thing. I was waving repeat i was waving good now uh everybody wave everybody wave even your mom can wave what are you doing waving, waving. okay say the whole thing i am waving i what am were you doing waving what were you doing clapping say the whole thing i was clapping now uh what we're going to do we're going to have information let's see if you remember the days of the week okay let's see how much you know how many days are there in a week seven okay say the days of the week Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday now What's the name of the school you go to? Think. What's the name of the school you go to? Lincoln Heights Elementary School. You know what? I can hear you from here. I can imagine you're saying it. I hope. <laughs> okay. What's the name of the city you live in? Don't tell me the state. Don't tell me Tennessee. What's the name of the city you live in? Morristown. Morristown. Okay. Now, everybody, today is? What day is today? Monday or Tuesday. Whichever day you're going to look at this. Okay? So what will, what will day will tomorrow be? What day will tomorrow be? Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Okay, now, let's see if you remember this information that we uh, work on previously. What do we call a place where food is grown? Is it in the store? Supermarket? It's 
starts with a F. F farm. What do we call a place with lots of people? Hmm. What do we call a place with lots of people? A city. What do we call a person who fixes teeth? A d -d dentist. Now, it will be harder. What do we call a place with lots of people? A city. So the whole thing about a city. A city, say it with me, a city, city is, is a, a place with, with lots, lots of, of people. people. What do we call a person who fixes teeth? A dentist. dentist. Now say the whole thing about a dentist. A dentist, dentist is, is a person, a person who fixes, fixes teeth. What do we call a place where food is grown? Starts with an F. F farm. Farm. Say the whole thing about a farm. Say with me, please. A farm, farm is, is a, a place where, where food is grown. grown. Do you recall that time we talk about food? Where it was grown? That would be a great activity for you to do. Draw a picture of a farm on what things are growing on the farm. Remember, this is this is uh, springtime, right? And what's happening in the farms? They're growing what? Vegetables. Okay? Very good. Now, get ready for some new information. This is that you haven't heard before. Listen, a store is a place where you buy things. What do we call a place where you buy things? A store. Can you think of a store that you buy things? It could be what? Walmart, right? Or dollar store. All those places at the mall where you have what? What kind of store do you have at the mall? Clothing store, right? Like TJ Maxx, Bells, Coles. Okay, now, uh, let's see, let's repeat it again. A store is a, a place, place where, where you, you buy things. things. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oops. Look what we have here. This is a store. This is where you buy things. What place do you see in this picture? A store. A store. Okay. What kind of store is this? Hmm. Well, let's look at the picture. Well, we see, oh, we see vegetables. Oh, I see milk and juice. Cereal. So that is a grocery store. We also call it a supermarket. Right? So, for example, in Walmart you can go and buy other things besides groceries. You can buy clothing and other things for the house. Okay, well, let's turn to the next page. What are the things do you like to buy at the store? Well, i tell you what, what I like to buy at the store. I like to buy vegetables, if I'm at Walmart, or Ingalls, or Food City, I like to buy vegetables, I like to buy uh, grains like rice, beans, and other things that I need, eggs, milk, 
flour, like like your mama buys flour, called masta. She makes tortillas, and I buy the white flour because I like to make bread. Those things. Okay, now let's look at this. This is application. We have three pictures, right? A, B, and C. We're going to figure out a problem about a bucket and a table. Listen to the rule. The bucket under the table is empty. The bucket under the table is empty. Everybody, say the rule with me. The bucket under the table is empty. Again, please. The bucket under the table is empty. All by yourselves, say the whole thing. A bucket under the table is empty. Again, the bucket under the table is empty. Is this under the table? B? No. So the bucket is not under the table. So what do you know about this bucket? It is it's not, not empty. empty. It is not empty. Huh. Look at C. Is this bucket under the table? Yes. The bucket is under the table. So, what do you know about this bucket? It is empty. Okay. So, what about A? Is this bucket under the table? No. The bucket is not under the table. So what do you know about this bucket? It is not empty. Okay. Now, exercise four. Ooh. Mm, I see a few things here. Fruits. And one is empty. Let's see what happens. Look at the picture. Tell me about the bucket under the table. Tell me the bucket about under the table. What it we is. See? It is empty. empty. It is empty. Yes. This bucket under the table is empty. Say the whole thing. The, the bucket, bucket under, under the, the table, table is, is empty. empty. Now, where is this bucket? Hmm, is it under the table? No. no. Is it on the table? No. no. It is where? B. Side the table or next to the table, right? It is next to the table. Is this bucket empty? Is this bucket empty? No. 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 Okay. Now, what is in this bucket here? Bananas. Okay. Now, look at bucket B. Where is this bucket? On the table. Yes. Is this bucket empty? Is it empty? No. What is in this bucket? Well, you know what? They say they're apples, but when I saw them, I thought they were tomatoes. Because <laughs> tomatoes are red, right? So they're apples. 
apples. Look at C. Where is this bucket? Under the table. Is this bucket empty? Is it empty? Yes. There's nothing there, right? Okay. Now, would you like the bucket with the apples in it? I would. I like apples. They're crunchy and juicy. Would you like the bucket with the bananas in it? I like bananas. How do you like your bananas? I like bananas with peanut butter. They're delicious. Yum, yum. Okay. Would you like the empty bucket? Well, you probably would like your empty bucket. What would you do with an empty bucket? I know what I would do. I will go outside and pick up different type of pebbles or find some seeds or find some